Today we hear how Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with the disciples, to help them be brave enough to share God's message with others. Let's think about what the Holy Spirit does in our lives today. Gracious Spirit, encouraging yet non-coercing, thread through time and engender love and compassion in us and through Christ. Challenging Spirit, enlightening yet not constraining, thread through time and enlarge knowledge and understanding in us and through us. Passionate Spirit, empowering yet not controlling, thread through time and enable freedom and justice in us and through us. Paradoxical Spirit, engaging with us yet not graspable by us, Weave together our time and God's time, that we may know God at work, in us, and through us. In the beginning, the Spirit brooded time into being, so that God could give form to the world. At the Incarnation, the Spirit breathed God's time into being, so that the world could receive the Word. Through Pentecost, the Spirit brought transformed time into being, so that the Word could be everywhere encountered. Entering gifts of bread and wine, the Spirit blesses this time being, so that encounter can comfort, challenge, and transform us. Triune God, your Spirit brings me us many gifts. Forgive us when we have coveted only the spectacular ones. Lord, have mercy. Your Spirit speaks to us through many different voices. Forgive us when we have cut off the disconcerting ones. Christ, have mercy. Your Spirit offers us many different insights. Forgive us when we have considered only the comfortable ones. Lord, have mercy. Your Spirit invites us into many different moments of possibility. Forgive us when we have closed down the costly ones. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy on us. Spirit of the living God, beyond time and yet here with us now, give us the wisdom to receive and treasure all your gifts the discernment to hear and respond to your voice, the understanding to see and follow your patterns, and the courage to recognize and seize your moments. So may we grow in knowledge of Christ's kingdom, deepen in dependence on its grace, and love in accordance with its measures. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, the book of Acts of the Apostles teaches us that after the ascension of Jesus, the Apostles met in constant prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. They were awaiting that power from on high, promised by the Lord, by which they would witness the gospel everywhere on earth. Let us now attend in our thoughts to the wonderful works of God. For God has sent the spirit of adoption by which we all cry out, Abba, Father. And God is preparing us to be his witnesses that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. As we prepare to hear God's holy words through the scriptures, open our hearts and minds, Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as a fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. 
May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Lord, send down your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send down your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord, the earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send down your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send down your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send down your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send down your spirit and renew the face of the earth. At home, you may like to light a candle at this point to symbolize the coming of the Holy Spirit. As you light the candle, pray with us. We light this Pentecost candle. May this dancing flame inspire us to fill our lives with ideals of love, justice and truth. Amen. Flame of purity. Light us, light us up. up. <laughs> flame of purity. Light us up. Flame of beauty. Light us up. Flame of wisdom. Light us up. Flame of friendship. Light us up. Flame of true speech. Light us up. Breath of God, blow away all that is unclean. Hear us, Lord. Wind of God, blow us to wild places as you will. Hear us, Lord. River of God, flow through us and heal our land. Hear us, Lord. For the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered as each one heard them speaking in the native tongue of each. Amazed and astonished they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Emilites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. May your word live in us, and, and bear, bear much fruit, fruit to your glory. glory. How many different ways can you say hello and be understood? Bonjour! Konnichiwa! Ni hao! Kia ora! Kamasta! We gather as seekers of truth and beauty in the face of a world too often false and ugly. We gather as a community of love before a world too often unloving. We gather to nurture our souls in a puzzling, even dangerous universe. In faith, let us reason. In spirit, let us relish paradox. Let us bring forth our best to bestow like seed in an empty land.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in every language the mighty works of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Continuation of the reading of Acts chapter 2. Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. 
Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what has happened, as has been spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my Spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. May the words of my lips and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and redeemer. Amen. Well, thanks to the children with the Murray family and Eloise and to Janice for their assistance in making Pentecost service possible. Also to Lucy and to Diane for their gifts of music. For those of you who are following along with the script at home, you will realise that probably at the moment, um, we're not exactly following online what was sent out in the parish, but that doesn't matter because this is a celebration which is ongoing. In the document that I sent out to the people who are at home, I talk about the fact, or quote, um, in fact, a beautiful lady from the Iona community, Joy Mead, where she says quite clearly that Pentecost isn't a once and for all happening. It's ongoing and energizing hope here, now, and in this world, and in this place. Now that for us, of course, as we move back towards being in our own place is exciting. It's the dance of the Holy Spirit that continues to encourage us and build us into community. How that community is shaped at the moment is very much up to us. We're not sure what it's going to be like. We know there are restrictions. It seems just about every day we are told new things. I'd like to thank those in the parish who are working very hard to opening up our churches, particularly our COVID offices at uh, St. John's and Janice and Mary, at the campus at uh, Gisborne, Graham Dickinson, and, and Wynne and Greg up here at the Church of the Resurrection. All these things are there to help sustain us and to promote an arousal of interest in what we can do in taking our part in the Messianic mission. The Messianic mission was to make the word of God fully known in so that the blind, those who are having trouble seeing the world, could see it in the reality that Jesus wants. For the deaf who refused to hear the good news or to hear pleas of justice, to respond and to stand up and take notice. Those who are made lame by the demands of society to be able to stand and walk. And then there's those for whom the mute, who have lost their voices because of the situations they're in, we must be prepared to advocate on their behalf. Jesus came to promote jubilee, a sense of reconciliation, a new beginning, a new way. And this is what is at the very heart of Pentecost. It's not about just this one-off event, bursting the bubbles of what has been and the suffering and pain it's about a mission that is dynamic, real, and focused on the love of God. 
I spoke last week about planting the seeds of hope. We are all, as we, we follow the very many metaphors that Jesus used in farming, we are to plant seeds. And yes, we know from the parable of the seeds, not all of them will bear fruit. But we are to do our best to make sure that the weeds of the world, the thistles, the rocks, which the lack of nurture is overcome and people can actually move towards finding new ways of expressing themselves. As we move into a time of Pentecost Sundays, this is what we need to be doing. Sustaining ourselves in prayer and worship. Coming back to be fed and nurtured at the, at the table of the Lord. Being able to value and appreciate that we are community. And to see the diversity of our parish for what it is. The image behind me is that of flame. The Pentecostal flame alighted on the disciples. We told the Holy Spirit when it came to Jesus, alighted like a dove, gently, down, and lovingly. And in the gospel account that we've heard today, the Spirit was given by Jesus simply breathing on them. The Holy Spirit is with us. This is the reality of the ongoing dance of Pentecost. We are called to plant seeds of hope. Part of that will be of us being able to see visions, dream dreams, and prophesy what the Lord requires. These are the gifts of the Holy Spirit that are most important for us to remember at Pentecost. Shortly, with the help of the children and with, the, with Robert and Sandra and Janice, we will look at the gifts of the Holy Spirit as seen in Isaiah, the gifts of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, the ability to make right choices, courage, reminding ourselves the word courage is fortitude or strength, reverence, how we approach everything we do as spirit-filled people, and awe, awesomeness, the overwhelming sense of knowing that the love of God is with us. So this Pentecost tide, enjoy the dance of the Holy Spirit. Enjoy the folly of some of the things that we've got up to in trying to produce this video. I'll be fairly frank and say that during the week, some of us were put back into quarantine, waiting for some test results on one of our parishioners. And I'm thankful to say that that person has tested negative. So this is also a reminder, there are going to be times ahead that we will be tested and we will require ourselves to say, well, that's very inconvenient, but for the sake of the community, this is what we must do. So my message for Pentecost, continue to love and serve the Lord, continue to reach out to one another, continue to advocate for those in the community who need help. And even if we have little, Share what we have. It only takes a few beans to grow a magic bean, we're told in the nursery rhymes. I wonder what it takes for us to build a new community of hope, faith, and love. The Lord be with you. Let us declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have received and this we believe. Amen. Spirit, come, breathe into the hearts this day, bless our celebration and inspire us, that we may live spirit-filled lives of love and compassion, may it be so. Amen. Let us take a moment now to settle into the silence, hear and feel your quiet breathing, hear and feel the quiet of this place and the community of people. In this quiet hour, May our spirits be renewed. In this gar uh, gathering of old and new friends, may our minds be open to new truth and our hearts be receptive to love as we give thanks for this life that we are blessed to share. God of all, you sent your spirit to be with the disciples, filling them with joy, peace and courage. May we also be filled with your spirit. Be brave and share your peace in our world. Amen. Amen. We pray to God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We pray for all those who work for a peace in our world, that they will have courage and strength to carry on, even in the most difficult times. We pray for all people, and especially those who have lived through war and conflict, that filled by the power of the Holy Spirit, they can find it in their hearts to move forward in peace and forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray together. God of wonders, by your spirit of freedom, you transformed the apostles. By your gift, they boldly announced your kingdom and took up their mission with joy. Visit your church at prayer today, both locally and virtually, and let the Holy Spirit breathe confidence into all who are followers of Jesus. We ask this in his name who has taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit who mothered creation and enabled incarnation continue to form and nurture us as we stumble towards maturity. The Spirit who led Jesus into the wilderness stir us out of ease and safety as we follow the way of Christ. The Spirit who transformed the disciples grace and gift us for the task of building the kingdom. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May you know the peace which the Spirit brings, a peace rooted in love, patience and self-control, shaped by kindness, generosity and faithfulness, marked by the gentleness and crowned with joy. We are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. Peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. A reminder that as from tomorrow, June the 1st, things do change in terms of social distancing. A thank you note here from Kath Phillips on the occasion of her 90th birthday. That was our pleasure. And although she won't uh, allow us to say so, I'm sure you can read the screen. We also express to our friends at Gisborne Singers our sympathy at the loss of Stephen Brockman. Don't forget, morning tea starts at half past ten. <laughs>
Thank you. 